Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Amparo. Today I can finally share the cover and the title and the synopsis of Blaze Wrath Games 2. Or as people on the internet are calling it, Two Blaze Wrath 2 Games. My personal favorite is Two Blaze Wrath 2 Glitter. Yes, today I can share what is already public because we shared it yesterday on Tor.com. We have a cover, a title, and a synopsis. And also, if you go to Tor.com, you will be able to read a sneak peek of chapter one. And yes, there will be spoilers in this episode. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I'm so excited. I have been waiting so long to finally talk about this book. Although, so long is not completely correct. I've been here for about, like... I don't even know how to count. It's been a couple of months, yeah. The important thing to know is that the title of book two is officially... Dragon Blood Ring. Yes! Dragon Blood Ring is the official title. The original title, the one that I came up with, was actually Bloodbath Rings, plural. We had to change it because <laughs> my publisher said, well, it's true to the nature of the sport. There is a sport in this specific book, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but there's a sport, it's called Bloodbath, and it's really bloody. But my publisher was like, well, this is skewing younger, like the content, the book itself is mostly aimed for young adults, but for 14 year olds, 15 year olds, 13 year olds. So we have to change that title because we don't... That's too violent. So we changed it to Dragon Blood Ring. And so Dragon Blood is the name of the sport now. In my heart, it will always be Bloodbath. It will always be Bloodbath. But... For the general public, it is now Dragon Blood. And now for the cover. Without further ado, this is the cover of Dragon Blood Ring. So let's talk about this cover art, shall we? <laughs> the designer was Melia Parslow with Page Street Publishing, which is my publisher. And the illustrator is Cesar Fiatzig Bay. And they did, both of them did an incredible job. But can we talk about my name? And then beneath my name, or under my name, it says author of Blaze Wrath Games, which means I have already published an entire book. And this is my second book. I have a sequel coming out this year. <laughs> like, I knew that, you knew that. So, I mean, I guess you knew that. I don't know if you knew that. Anyway, but the point is that there is a book out, or not a, a book, there's a cover out there with my name on it. And it says on the cover that I wrote another book before that one, which is wild to me. Like when you're living your dream, sometimes you don't really believe that it's actually real. It's that it stops being a dream. So it's really shocking to me to see this cover with that. I did not know that it was going to say author of, you know, on the cover. As you may have imagined, we have Lana Torres right front and center of this cover. Lana is of course the main character of Blaze Wrath Games, and she is also the main character in Dragon Blood Ring. Spoiler alert, Dragon Blood Ring is a direct sequel to Blaze Wrath Games, so everything that happens in this book is directly tied to what happens in the first novel. Meaning that if you haven't seen, or not seen, if you haven't read Blaze Wrath Games, it would be, it would behoove you. I love saying that word. It would behoove you to read it prior to reading Dragon Blood Ring. And if you haven't read it, you don't have access to it because funds are low or you don't have access to a library, that's fine. I will be holding a giveaway next week. And throughout the year, I'm going to be giving out more Blaze Wrath Games copies because I just want to. I want to share my dragons with you all. We have another character on this cover. In Blaze Wrath Games, we only had Lana. And in Dragon Blood Ring, we have another character right behind her, a human character right behind her, and that is Victoria Peralta, who is also a member of Team Puerto Rico. If you read Blaze Wrath Games, you know who Victoria is. You probably don't like her. But she's actually, spoiler alert again, she is a second narrator in this novel. So Dragon Blood Ring has two POVs! My first novel with two POVs. I have never attempted this and it was actually my former editor, Ashley Hearn. Shout out to Ashley Hearn. Ashley was the one who suggested adding Victoria's POV because they found it to be one of the most, like, not important, but interesting <laughs> journeys. Specifically at the end of Blaze Wrath Games, if you've read the book, you know what happens to her or wh what happens with her and how she feels. It was interesting for me to add how she moves on from that ending because it's very much difficult for her. It's very much not a fun time. <laughs> Let's talk about the dragons on this cover. The first dragon we see, of course, is Azor de Noche, 
And Sol de Noche is a species from Puerto Rico, which is my country and my main character's country. The dragon that you see here is the same dragon that you saw in the cover or on the cover of Blaze Wrath Games, Esperanza, who is the first born dragon in Puerto Rico, or the first dragon born in Puerto Rico. Why can't I speak today? So Esperanza, as you can see, had a little bit of a change in this specific cover in dragon blood ring because she is very much developing or evolving in this book. She is getting to know other parts of her magic or other elements, magical elements. We had to go into changing how she looked. In this specific cover, Speranza is a little bit angrier. And there's a dragon behind her firing at her and that is the Japanese Akarui species. If you read Blaze Wrath Games, you know that there is a character from Japan, his name is Takeshi Endo. Through him, we get to know a little bit more about the Japanese species of dragons because in his case, and this isn't a huge spoiler if you have not read Blaze Wrath Games, this is not like, oh my god, new information that can ruin my experience reading that book. It won't, because we know it at the beginning. Takeshi is, or was, a former dragon writer and a Blaze Wrath player who lost his seed, Hikaru, because Hikaru was murdered, and so Takeshi is out for vengeance. He needs to find whoever killed Hikaru in order to feel fulfilled. <laughs> in this sequel, you see the same dragon species, so that's really exciting for me to finally talk a little bit more about this species and, and show it, because in the first book, we didn't really show the Akarui in any sort of context that wasn't directly tied to Takeshi, but in this book, we see some more of this species. It's not obviously the same dragon, because Hikaru is dead. This is the part, you guys. If you have not read Blaze Wrath Games, click away, change the channel. Can you change a channel on YouTube? Anyway, point is, I'm gonna spoil some things. Because in Blaze Wrath Games, we see that the cup, the World Cup, was cancelled. We are not playing Blaze Wrath anymore. And in this book, Dragon Blood Ring, if you go into the tour.com link that I have left below, you should definitely check it out if you want to read a sneak peek of Dragon Blood Ring. It is also there. I will be leaving the more meatier side of the synopsis for later videos as we approach release date, which we officially have. It is October 12th, 2021. Yay! I'm so excited. So what is Dragon Blood Ring about? These two girls are back in Puerto Rico, their home essentially for the both of them. They consider themselves back at home. But the thing is though, only one of them is happy about it. They are going through a lot individually and it's putting a strain on them as a group or as friends. They are very much trying to work together because there is a sport called Dragon Blood that is essentially fight club with dragons. Fights to the death between dragon species and not willingly. These are kidnapped dragons. Our new foe in this book, I will also be talking about that person later, but if you read the description or the synopsis that is available for the book already, you will know that this is a very powerful witch and might be the most powerful witch in my entire universe, the Blaze Wrath universe. I cannot wait to talk more about her and why she is behind this specific sport. I just wanted to film this episode today to share my joy with you, finally being able to say the words Dragon Blood Ring out loud in front of a camera and tweet about them and put them up on my website, the cover and all that. It's just, it's a dream come true. Like this is the first sequel that I've ever written and it'll be the first sequel that I will ever publish. And it's the first book that I have written in a pandemic. <laughs> I don't ever want to write a book in a pandemic, just in case we have another pandemic coming down the line. This will be the first one. And if we never have a pandemic again in my lifetime, then I can say I wrote one during a pandemic and I edited it during a pandemic and I launched it during the last days, hopefully, of a pandemic. My dream is for October 12th to be release day and I can finally have my launch party in a specific location that is not my home in front of a camera. Um, I love virtual events and I love my channel, but I would really love to share my time and my special day with actual readers and my friends and my family. All this to say, Dragon Bullet Ring is gonna make its way into readers' hands very soon. And so with that, it means that it will also be available on NetGalley and Idolvice. Is that how you pronounce it? Idolvice? Idolvice. While it is a little bit nerve-wracking to know what others are thinking about your book, I am so proud of Dragon Bullet Ring just because I've managed to finish it. 
during the hardest point or the hardest part, the hardest moment of my life as an adult, um, or actually second, the most difficult, the second most difficult moment of my life as an adult. So Dragon Blood Ring is pretty much my miracle baby. You know how they say, oh, this is the book of my heart, or this is the book of my dreams. Dragon Blood Ring is, a, is a, my miracle baby. I literally produced it when I least expected it, and it came out of the womb. That's a weird metaphor. It came out of the womb much stronger than I thought it was going to be. And it took a lot for me to rewrite in my head prior to writing it on the page. So I'm very proud of it. I am extremely, extremely proud of it. And all this to say, Dragon Blood Ring is hitting shelves October 12th, 2021, as I mentioned. But also just to say that I'm very happy that we can talk about this book and I can spoil more things about Blaze Wrath games in the coming months. Also, I'm very excited to reveal the pre-order campaign. Yes, there will be a pre-order campaign. You know I love them. As a reader and as an author, I just love pre-order campaigns. Yes, it will be international. I'm just spoiling that right now. It will be international yet again. And I'm just really excited because I have some stuff coming up for this campaign in, in particular that I didn't have available or wasn't going to be able to do for Blaze Wrath games for a number of reasons. But I'm really excited about what's coming our way soon. Yay! So that's it for today. I just wanted to share my joy and share this awesome cover. Did you see the cover? Did you see that cover? Pre-order links are already available for Dragon Blood Ring. I will leave everything below. And if I'm not mistaken, it is already available on Goodreads. You can add it there. I do think it does have the old title on it, but it's okay. We can change it later. Librarians of Goodreads get to work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, evening, or whenever it is that you're sitting down to view this episode. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye!